Hello, my name is Casper. Um, we've got beginning of October, and I would like to show you um, one of our hives. Um, final check um, and um, preparing for the winter. We struck the hive down, put the mouse guard on. We might need a bit more food, but we we'll see that in a minute. Um, and we will wrap the hive with a, a fine chicken wire to stop uh, birds disturbing the bees in the winter. So yeah, um, make sure you've got a smoker to start with and a hive tool, some feed just in case, and um, I will tell you as I go what you need to do all the, uh, the rest of the bits. Uh, let's start. So this hive um, is a nook from I think June this year. It has been fed a few times, but it might need a bit, a bit more feeding feed. Gently put it on the um, frame holders. Yeah, you can see this colony, it's got loads of brood here, nice patch of brood, then a pollen, and loads of honey around. Send this out, nice and cold bees. Similar on this frame, loads of. Um, there's larvae and eggs here, pollen and honey around. We've got eggs, that means the queen is here. Don't need to check how much more. It's a nice size nook. Um, I'm gonna feed a bit more in over winter like this. Yeah, loads of brood, nice bees. Right, let's put it back together. We know there's a queen, we know they've got food, uh, like pollen, uh, they're doing well. We just give them a bit more food, uh, make sure you have treated your um, your hives for varroa. So there's no point to look for anything else in this hive. It's all good. Uh, what we do, we just feed them, uh, put the mouse guard on. Feel it right up. Okay. B. This is good. So we check the hive. It doesn't need much looking into it. There's a queen. They've got food. They need a bit more. It won't hurt if they've got a bit more. A nice size nuke. They're good to go really for the winter. So we strap them now. Um, I've got high strap here. So put that around your hive. So we've got our strap here. This is ratchet end. So you thread your end loose in here, here, and then just back here. Pull it.
to undo it. Take all the way back and up and to do it up. Simple and just the loose end under the strap. Now I show you how to put um, mouse guard on. So just place it along the entrance um, so the holes are here so the beast can get out. I've um, got a few pins just to pin it into the box a few places to hold it secure. can get through, the mice can't get in. Um, this is quite important as the one one mouse can destroy a whole colony in the winter but it's very easy to do so I would I advise you to put on every every hive and take it down March April time. I would like to show you how to um, protect your hive from uh, birds. Um, if you've got loads of birds around your hives it might be worth doing it so the bees don't get don't get disturbed. Um, so you will need a uh, chicken wire, fine chicken wire where the diameter is smaller than 22 mil um, so any small birds can't go through or bird netting will do the job as well. Um, four stakes, um, any four bamboo stakes, um, anything. Um, bits of uh, garden um, wire or um, cable ties probably would do the job as well and the uh, wire cutters to cut the wire. Um, we start with putting the stakes in um, so let's put one in each corner of the hive just four inches of three four inches of the, of the hive from the hive. Let's put them in firmly Once you've got your stakes in, you need to put some wire around it. I've got some uh, pre-cut earlier. Um, so tie one end to the stake. Once we've got um, one end of the wire wrapped, we can gently wrap it around. Um, and now attach the second end of the wire to the stake with the bits of wire we cut it pre-cut earlier And the second bit of the wire we put over the top. I've got a bit of pre cut here as well. Put it through the, through the stake. Face over the top. Bend it over. Um, and we 
can attach it with a bit of wire as well. So it's all secure, the bags can't get trapped in there. Um, it's not going to all fall apart in the winter. Do that all the way around. Um, one more thing worth doing, can bend the wire a bit and put it in the ground so the wire, the wire is secure on the, front, on the bottom so the bags can get underneath and get trapped in there as well. Just secure all around and that will be um, all down for the winter, all secured for the birds so the bees won't get disturbed. Thank you for watching.